Assalamu alaikum. Hey guys, welcome to our channel Design Birds. From last year tutorial, we learn about 3D, 3D tools like box, extrude, press pull, and those union and those two commands. Uh, today we are going to learn about uh, we are going to learn about loft, revolve, and sweep. And this is the most unique and important command of AutoCAD. So let's start it. Uh, first, we will I'll, I'll show show you guys loft command. So what is loft command basically? And uh, when 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 we have to make an object with two different shapes, then we can use loft command. Uh, let me show you show you an example. First, I have to uh, make a circle. Uh, sorry, make a rectangle here. Then I and then I will make a circle circle in the center of the rectangle i can i can give it uh, like that okay now I, I have to move that circle i place that circle here okay so what i have to do is uh, select loft command and select those two object and press enter uh, I have to I have to make it with say cross section only on this uh, when I basically when I when I when I need an object like that then then I uh, then I press cross section only okay so this is how I can make a object with two different shape in one object actually okay this is the loft and the other uh, uh, other command is path command path uh, path command uh, so let me show you a uh, example of path command first of all i am making a i'm making making this uh, making this line making this two line with polyline i uh, have to fill it that uh, and radius would be five degree okay i make that i i make that thing uh, so i think the radius uh, i should give the radius bigger than this so i'm giving 15 okay so this is uh, so this is a this is a line with curvature here uh, now i have to make a rectangle here and here so here is the right plane so uh, look there this is the right plane actually this is the right plane and this is the this is the back plane okay so i'll i'll first select right and make a rectangle here Okay, I make the rectangle and I will move that move the rectangle. Sorry, uh, I move that rectangle into this line. Okay, now I'll make a circle here. So from, for that, I have to I have to select back plane because we because because we uh, see that when we see uh, right plane here, there will be a back plane. So I make I'll make a circle here. Okay, this is the two object. Uh, I'll 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 connect that object through this line. So I have to select loft command and select those two object uh, and press enter. I have to select path uh, path option. I select the path and it will automatically make the make the object through this path. Okay, so this is the loft command. Next command is revolve. So what is revolve actually? When I um, let me uh, let me do it on top plane, uh, I have to make a object with polyline. If we um, uh, what we have what I am doing here, if I make anything, uh, make an object with polyline, it will be it will be joined uh, joined from the beginning. So I I am not I am not to join that thing again. That's why I am making with polyline. Okay. Uh, so, uh, I I make that I um, make that object. I, I can uh, fill it that thing that that will make that object so um, so, so beautiful actually. Uh, I'll make that radius five. Okay, uh, make that radius and I'll select multiple option. That would be better. Okay, I select that. Uh, I make that object like that. Uh, now I will select revolve uh, revolve command and 
select the object and press enter uh, after pressing enter it will ask for the access point i will select the, those two for access point and now it it asks for the uh, angle of revolution uh, if i if i if i give it 360 it will make it will make like that uh, make like that and if i um, do other if i if i give other um, other angle like 120 it will make 120 so this is how the revolve uh, command work actually so next command is next command is sweep uh, uh, sweep is like um, if we have to make anything make any pipe or something like that we can use the sweep command for the sweep command i will also i'll again make a make a object with polyline uh, it's on the top it's okay okay this is the this is the line uh, i'll fillet it radius would be 15 i'll fillet at the angle actually okay i fillet every angle so now i'll I, i'll have to make i'll have to uh, make make the pipe shape if i if i if i need the uh, rectangular shape pipe or i need the circular shape pipe i can use everything like if i have to uh, i have to I, I have need actually a rectangular shape pipe so i'll select the right elevation that's uh, right plane I, I select the right plane and i'm making have a rectangle so this is the rectangle i have to move it uh, in the center of the that line okay now i'll mm, i'll select swift command so this is the swift I, i'll press enter and press this thing okay now the thing is ready but it's not hollow in the in in this uh, inside this so i have to use the shell command command and select a 3d object and it's asked me for a uh, remove face select a remove face uh, i select this face and i have to i i'll have to also select this face so i select this face okay uh, press enter and it will it ask for the offset distance of the shell so i'm giving it one point one enter i'll do exit and exit so this is how uh, it look like uh, like hollow inside the pipe this so this is how we can make make pipe through this shell command so this is now for uh, for today until next tutorial um, stay safe stay well bye bye tata -ta.